Northern one out here, and I'm just making a video for the uh, uh, article or documents I put together for tomorrow uh, for Louise Exley. She's the assistant um, British High Commissioner in Wellington, New Zealand, and uh, I'll read it out tomorrow. But I'll just make this short clip just to give an overview of what it is. Um, it's on Facebook now. There's 10 pages. And it's very important that this notice goes to the British um, High Commission. And then I've sent it off to the um, British uh, Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, and the... Um, um, Chief of Military, um, Philip Jones, uh, Sir Philip Jones, um, to warn them uh, that the US, um, USS um, nuclear ship and its captain, Admiral um, Tim, Tim Rabins, the Benz um, will be coming into Auckland, New Zealand, on the 17th to the 22nd for the 75 year New Zealand Navy celebrations. And also, there's 22 ships altogether coming from 22 countries holding their um, um, review of World Na Navy here. And I believe that there's some connection between uh, the TPPA, John Key and Prime Minister New Zealand, tied in with the Obama administration and the Clinton Foundation, and all the crime and fraud going on uh, in the US federal state government that they're hoping to enforce their admiralty court martial law and financial martial law through New Zealand and King William IV. Um, we're forbidding, forbidding any laws to be enacted or enforced on these country lands, the Maui Crown, um, native lands in New Zealand. At least New Zealand for now, as should be the New Zealand Pacific Islands um, Altair and Britain, our partner, UK. And the Queen is going around the back door through the EU Parliament, NATO, and through the UN and the New World Order, the IMF, and also the Obama administration, US federal state government, and back to here where the Admiralty lies in Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court, that we have our native court opened up on the 15th of April 2016 this year and enforced all these acts of 1832 1837 King William IV and legalised our 1834 flag of King William IV and his acts of parliament 1830-1837 in particular the admiralty court martial law that we have forced now the financial finan financial martial law forced on using the pound note on any levy debtor name we put on the documents these documents these 10 documents that i've just put out now with a proclamation uh, clearly stating that the Crown Queen and Crown King does not own these lands in New Zealand, it belongs to the Chiefs. That's the proclamation I'll read out tomorrow, but I'm just briefly running this video on tonight to go with these 10 pages I've just put on with Jim Wikwatu. Put the flag upside down as distress, now we're putting it up as no distress anymore. We have control, full control of our land returned 
and with Sibri, the occupation titles of John Key's government because the Navy didn't turn up on the 28th of October 2016 and just simply ignored us. John Martin, Re-Admiral of the Navy, ignored my official King Seal letters and Maui Crown King Seal documents. And they are crucial, that they are lethal with the martial law inside this to Britain liable or obligated to put the force of our acts and our authority on these people we name as offending us on these lands and anywhere in the world under the Maui Crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World in this flag of ours, you see on this side, the eight point star in the four corners of the earth, St. Patrick's Order, King William IV, Maui Crown, native title, jurisdiction of Admiralty, over every other Vice Admiralty ship on the sea, on the land, and in the skies, and in the water, under the water. Okay, so that's where we are. I have got uh, the, the first page that's, um, I'll just run a little bit, I'll just say a little bit because I won't make this long, I'll make a better one in the morning because I'm tired now from putting this all together. On the first page we have um, our seals at the top on each page. We have Michael Fallon, the um, Secretary of Defence in Britain, and we also have our King. Ernest Augustus V, he's the reigning monarch sovereign of Britain, UK. King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world, New World Order. So he's the reigning monarch that we swear our oath to. And then I've got King William's uh, coat of arms and his Admiralty seal and his Admiralty flag. And the flag, his crown and anchor flag, is his admiralty flag, and our flag he gave us as the full authority and self-government um, independence, sovereign nation state of our own, to trade under that flag right through the world. Then we have Maui statue, memorial seal, with King William seal beside it. Those are two most powerful seals of monarch, sovereign, royalty in the world. The only king's flag in the world. So then we go to page two. That's some of the statements I'm making. Uh, forbidden. You are hereby served and forbidden. U.S. Law Enforcement Martial Law Act on our Maui native lands. We seize back title from Queen Elizabeth II to abandon ship. Okay, that's the Queen is running a racket in America and right through the Commonwealth countries of the world and she's been caught out with Hillary Clinton is going to be arrested with Obama and their whole government. And then we got the Marae, the Waitani Marae King's Bench Court with Kingi Toro, the chief. We signed a document with Jamie my secretary, she's signed, electronic sign, that means they were approved of these documents um, for our native court inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Okay, so that's that page, and then we got the flag, and Jim Weekor do, he'll do the honours on uh, Waitangi Day, 6th of February next year, and I've been checking all the movements of that day so that we can fit straight in and John Key and the Navy has to come into that line with us there. It's on our lands, King Itaro's lands and the Chief Land Matatua is right there and the other Chiefs who are in the Confederation, the Incorporations and um, they'll be in the TT Marae but everything 
in the Waitangi Marae is strictly British Maori Crown, King William IV fled jurisdiction of Admiralty. Okay? We're stipulating the law between myself, Kingi, and um, Jim Wikotu and the native court judge, two of them. Okay, we'll go through that tomorrow, I'll go through that in depth, but I'm just running over it. That the video that I've got that I made uh, on Kororareka Bill on the 10th of April 2016 was when the Navy supposed to be there with Jim Wikotu and the, the Hapu on that land block uh, where the first title in this country was on the 20th of March um, 1834. Captain James um, really cleaned it. Okay? Landed there with the immigrants from Britain. The first one to get legal title with Te Rewaikato Wharaherehere, Manukau, in Cambridge, Britain. Okay? That's what I've got the titles here for Manukau, Donaji. And so we've got the flag and a few um, statements there that have gone to uh, Mary Television to cut it. And they want answers from the Navy. Why aren't they sticking to those dates? The 10th of April, the 20th of April, is significant to why they're there settled on their land, that if they don't renew their contract, their occupation title contract with us, then the British will sever all their contracts on these land in New Zealand and go back to Britain. Titles with us, the Maui Crown and the Chiefs. Okay, that's it. That's it this time around. And we'll square up all the books. Then we go along to the next page where the Navy's there to team it on. You can see them there. And then Devon Port in England, where King William set up the biggest navy in the world. And that's where all these immigrants came from. The ones in Australia, they've got second-hand titles that we're going to seize. The same way as the British seized those titles off, all those titles of Australia, New South Wales, New Zealand government been selling illegally. And here we are again. We have the same situation where we are ordering the British military and government to seize all these titles again through the Maui Crown and reissue them in our own dual government with Britain, UK. The new dual government. New government. And I see Ireland wants to come back and stay with Brexit. Scotland wants to go. That leaves England and Wales and us in that new Britain government. The Westminster will get cleaned out. America will get cleaned out. Trump will clean them out. All the fraud is going to whack off with this flag. Okay? I'll have this gone to America before the 8th. <coughs> I'll notice before their government's uh, um, new president. If in. So we go along to the next page. Um, with the, the ship, the Samson, USS Samson, is on its way to New Zealand for the Royal New Zealand Navy International Naval Review in Auckland later this month. So that's that page and the British, um, Chief of British Military, Sir Philip Jones, okay, UK, British Navy, St. Patrick's, eight point star, it's on his badge, okay, he's wearing it. So that's our title. And then the last page we've got our King William IV seal and the eight point star with his crown on the top and the two chiefs, Hongihika and Te Rewaikato Whareherehe went to England, Cambridge in 1820, 1833. And then we've got King William and his crown and anchor, Admiralty, a real Admiralty that put these laws together and his 50 years in the Navy setting up all of this for us in New York Stock Exchange. Okay, and um, uh, King Ernest Augustus with his eight-point star. They're both wearing the eight-point star, and I'm wearing the eight-point star here. That's the New World Order. That's us. 
versus John Key and his TPPA and those ships all coming here. Take notice of what I'm saying. This is the title to the Admiralty King of the Sea, Sailor Boy, King William IV, right here on the last page. The proclamation that the King and the Queen doesn't own the land, the chiefs own the land here, at least here. Okay, that's all I want to say for tonight. I'll carry on with this tomorrow. So, time now, 10.34 p.m. Sunday evening. 6th of November 2016. No more crackers, thank goodness, for paying the heat off tonight. And uh, it's one day after Guy Falls. So uh, somebody suggests, um, Gareth Morgan suggests putting up Guy Falls and blowing up the Parliament building, the Beehive, here in Wellington. What a good idea. Blow the whole place up because it's full of fraud. Westminster's full of fraud, burn that down and make a new one. And the Federal White House uh, is littered, littered, virtually littered with corruption and fraud and thuggery and you name it, it's all in there. And it's not a very good place to be at this moment. Okay, thank you. Good night. See you later.